in the ninth and it's Fiorentina on the attack. Adrian Mutu the header, but Alberto Fontana making the diving stop. He'll make a lot of stops in this game. Good looking Tuke on him too. 17th minute play of the day right here. Amaury, look at the flick to Fabrizio Micoli. Thank goodness he finished it off to make it 1-0 Palermo because it can go in goals of the week. And Micoli taking all the credit for this no-look ball from Amaury. <laughs> Fancy and fantastic as Mikuli will pot one against his own club. 41st minute, Ricardo Montolivo working on the far side. Firing off the shot, but Fontana making yet another nice save. This time going to his left. Pause that one away. 73rd, Edison Cavani in Sebastian Fry. The save, rebound, fired wide by Roberto Guana. Still 1 0, 76 minute Guana cross into Cavani. The volley stopped by Fry. Batting it away. A good job by Cavani to get this shot off, but Fry standing tall. About 10 minutes from time, Fabio Simplicio will cut through the defense. And that's a nice little wow goal. Make it 2 0, Palermo. Their second win in 10 games. And they send one second place Fiorna. They are, Fiorentina, they're now winless in four. Lazio versus Catania, also on tap in Italy. Stadio Olimpico, the site. Lazio winners of just one of six, adding to kick off on this day. This bound to help with the slump. Tommaso Rocchi putting one away in the eighth minute. Lazio on top, nice and early. The taker and the maker, they're on the same wavelength. Later in the half, some nice movement from the home team. And they uh, open something up for a goal. It's Murad Menyi from downtown. It doesn't miss by much. Still 1-0, though. Then, and at the interval, second half, Rocky out to take things going and add to the advantage. His pass to Massimo Mutarelli. He drives it. It's spilled. Stephen McKinwa is there, but McKinwa, they can't put it in one. So they got to play on. Catania still in it. They push for the equalizer on this attack. Marco Balotta breaking it up. Visitors seeing their hopes take a hit. When the referee sent off Jonathan Spinazzi for abusive language, down to just a few minutes remaining when the home team uses that advantage to add an insurance goal. Goran Pandev doing it all. The shot across the line. It's 2-0 Lazio in the 90th. And it is game over for Catania. Just the two Fit enough to return in a starting role for the first time since August. And with the likes of Zlatan and Kuz available, Roberto Mancini still with some impressive weapons. Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the middle of it as we join the action. The big Swede robbed by a Matteo Sereni. Kick save there and a clearance all wrapped up in one. Zlatan whipping it low and the keeper just stands his ground and boots it out. Torino with a rare breakthrough soon after. Alessandro Rossini from long range. Julio Cesar the save. And there's no rebound to worry about there. Inter going back the other way. The cross is long, but Cesar gets to it. Sereni with another stop with his feet. And Toro remains level. Visitors with something promising here, but Nicola Ventola's timing is off, and the chance goes horribly wrong. As a result, <laughs> it's still nil-nil. See, that I can do. Nearing the breaks, Latan and Julio Cruz combining to put the pressure on Torino. Ibrahimovic bumped in the area, and he will go down to the grass. PK for Inter. Don't argue with me. I don't want to hear about it, says the referee, or something to that effect. The attempted tackle coming from behind, and that is enough for the man with the whistle. So on we go, Swedish international, dot shot duties. And he squeezes it past Sereni. Inter on the board, it's 1-0 after 37. Same score as we take into the second half. Julio Cruz doubling the lead on a cool, cool header. 2-0 Inter, Christian Kivu with the service. Cruz with the finish. He is an expert finisher. Torino without much time to settle down after going down to Inter. Padding the lead thanks to Luis Jimenez. Two goals in two minutes. Game done. Jimenez with a terrific shot. However, he would have to leave this one a bit later with an injury. Guests hoping to get a goal before going home, but the chance summing up their day. Inter still up 3-0 after that. That is until making it 4 zilch. The header from Ivan Cordoba. Inter a 4-0 winner over Torino couple of the 19 teams that are chasing Inter the table, Juventus and Atlanta. Juventus coming in in third place. Chance to gain some points on Roma came in five back. Pavel Nedved free kick directly on net. For Fernando Coppola makes the save and it's off and out of bounds. Ensuing corner, it'll be Nedved again. 
Out to Antonio Nocerino. He'll take a crack at it. And that one skipping just wide. 14th minute now. Sergio Flocari takes the header back in the drive and the save by Gigi Buffon. Keepers all over the place, keeping it scoreless at half. Del Piero with the corner in the 58. Flicked on by Cristiano Zanetti, but Coppola once again the save. 79th. Juventus trying again. Again, it's Del Piero. Again, it's Coppola with the save. Come on, give Fantastic. us something different. Fantastic. Keeping the zeros up. I'll take these kind of zeros anytime. Coppola with a lot of chance to see that ball. Made that save a little easier. Nedved, the steal, the long drive, and he gets his first goal this season. There's one there for you, Mitch. You go. One nil Juventus. Morris Catizieri wanted a foul on the ball in the air, didn't get it. Then Nedved steals it away and gets the goal. And a beautiful goal it was. 89th minute free kick to Atalanta. Maxi Pellegrino with a golden opportunity. Couldn't get a touch on it, and he saw Atalanta's chances skip out of bounds. One nil Juventus. They're now unbeaten in six. Emil Etu returns.